We, the people, have decided by national referendum to merge the United States of America with the Federation of Russia to create the United States of the Federation of Russia and to make Vladimir Putin the supreme leader of this new nation. The massive and diabolical criminal enterprise which has destroyed our nation and turn it into an oligarchy of the rich man, the elites who control our government from inside out. We are no longer a free people. We are enslaved to the super rich elites who control everything and feed us lies and propaganda daily. This must As long as the people rich people control the governments of the world, it matters not who you put in as president. The bottom line is the two-party system does not work. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Now I admonish you to watch this short film, and you will see that everything I have revealed to you is the truth, and the only solution is for the United States and Russia to become partners, to become an alliance, to become the greatest nation in the world. Then, once again, the American people and the Russian people will find great prosperity and security. We must get rid of the criminals entrenched within the United States government. The so-called deep state must go. It must be destroyed. President Vladimir Putin will do just that. He is the only solution. We need a supreme leader, not the two-party system, which has proven to be a complete failure. Hunger in U.S. households almost tripled between 2019 in August of this year, according to the Census Bureau and the Department of Agriculture. The proportion of American children who did not have enough to eat, the study found, is 14 times higher than it was last year. And a study by Columbia University found that since May, there are 8 million more Americans who can be classified as poor. Meanwhile, the 50 richest Americans hold as much wealth as half of the United States, while millennials, some 72 million people, have 4.6% of the U.S. wealth. Only one thing matters to the corporate state. It is not democracy, it is not truth, it is not the consent of the governed, it is not income inequality, it is not the surveillance state, it is not endless war, it is not jobs, it is not the climate crisis, it is the primacy of corporate power, which has extinguished our democracy, taken from us our most basic civil liberties and left most of the working class in misery and the increase and consolidation of its wealth and power. In the midst of the pandemic, what did our ruling kleptocrats do? They looted $4 trillion on a scale unseen since the 2008 bailout overseen by Barack Obama and by they gorged and enriched themselves at our expense while tossing crumbs out the windows of their private jets, yachts, penthouses, and palatial estates for the suffering and despised masses. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, whose corporation Amazon paid no federal taxes last year alone, added nearly $72 billion to his personal wealth since the pandemic started. And during this same period, 55 million Americans lost their jobs. 